This is a low light test for the Canon R6. I recently purchased the Canon R6. I wanted to do a low light test because I've always considered the A7S series as kind of the best low light cameras out there. And the original A7S was really groundbreaking as far as its, at least its capability at, at really high ISOs. And I wanted to see if a more modern camera like the Canon R6 would, uh, would hold up. You know, even it, though I, having zoomed in like 3x, I, am, I do see a little bit of noise in the mid-tones at ISO 400, 800, 1600, but obviously if it's not zoomed in, it's really indistinguishable. I really like shooting on Canon cameras. That's one of the reasons I switched from Sony to Canon. Traditionally, you know, five, seven plus years ago, always shot on Sonys and then fell in love with the Canon C300 Mark II and have pretty much switched over to Canon. I still have the Sony a7S, but honestly, Sony is killing it nowadays. So part of me kind of wants to switch back. You know, and there is some noise now at ISO 4000, 5000, 6400, uh, at least in the, uh, if you look in the, in the mid-tones where it's, where I've punched in. What has been amazing about this test and was really surprising to me is the R6 is really up to ISO 10,000 holding up really well. It might even be better than the A7S. Really getting above ISO 10,000, you do start to see noise in the full image. Um, it becomes noticeable. It's not bad, it's totally usable. I've shot in situations where I've shot all the way up to ISO 20,000 with the A7S and I haven't had to do anything in post to reduce the noise. It was totally acceptable, much over ISO 20,000, and it's, it's just, you have to do some noise reduction or you just, you just, in my opinion, I, you can't really use it. Honestly, the R6 is holding up really, really well. I would say the R6 is slightly better than the A7S. Now we're getting into the area where it's just too, it's just too noisy. The image is unusable. Uh, for this setup, I used two vintage Canon FD lenses, and oddly enough, the A7S did about a half a stop better in uh, just like, it was about a half a stop brighter at the same settings as the R6. So it did a little better at just light collection in general. And I would say both cameras are now about the same as far as how much noise is in the image. I actually would say at 102,400 the a7s is doing better and the Canon R6 tops out at 204,800. The uh, Sony a7s goes several steps higher than that. It goes all the way up to 400,000. 409,600 for the a7s, 204,800 for the R6 and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this test between the A7S and the R6 to demonstrate the low light capabilities of the Canon R6. Thanks for watching. Y'all are the best.